Hey everyone, uh, we have some Zelda news for you today, courtesy of Game Over Jesse, who just guested on our podcast last night. I encourage you to go check out episode 9 of the Nintendo Prime Podcast featuring our new E3 site. You're actually seeing part of it here, different angle here, uh, but hey, we're ch- aiming to make the best content we possibly can at uh, Nintendo Prime, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the even newer setup and newer angle for these style of videos. Now, uh, instead of me printing off notes all the time, waste of paper, waste of ink, right? Let's just use the old laptop here and go over some notes from Game Over Jesse's latest video, which I will have linked in the description to go check out. The purpose of Game Over Jesse's video, by the way, was to debunk or prove rumors that are already out there. And yeah, notably, nothing Samus Hunter has said was debunked by Game Over Jesse, but he did confirm two major things, well, three major things, really, that we want to go over today. All right, let's just get right into these rumors. Uh, And the first one uh, deals with E3 and the Zelda 35th anniversary. Now, we have been talking about the possibility of the Zelda 35th anniversary taking place at E3 for quite some time. And some people might point out that Samus Hunter has been saying, hey, we're likely going to hear something about the 35th anniversary at E3. And we probably will. It's very likely we're going to hear about the 35th anniversary, but it doesn't mean they're going to blow out the 35th anniversary at E3. And it's notable that Samus Hunter and really most leakers out there have not definitively said they're going to blow out the 35th anniversary at E3. More so, it might get mentioned at E3. And Game Over Jesse has now uh, said that he has actual contacts that he has verified at Nintendo. Uh, So this is coming as direct to the source as we can get without the contacts being my own. And he has said that Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be at E3. So, like, that's a big, big, you know, just let's just get that out of the way. Breath of the Wild 2 will be at E3. And it's going to have an, an average to decent length you know, overview, trailer, all that jazz. But towards the end of it, there's going to be an announcement of a future date where they're going to have a Zelda Direct or a Zelda event, which we would presume would be the Zelda 35th Anniversary Direct slash event. Apparently, it's going to happen after E3. Now, it could happen later in June, could happen in July, could happen in August. I don't know. He doesn't know either. But apparently, the 35th Anniversary will not be blown out at E3 Doesn't mean it won't get mentioned. We are going to see Breath of the Wild 2. He also says we are going to see Skyward Sword HD. Not much of it, but we are going to see some of Skyward Sword HD. They realize that they focus too much on a game that anyone can just go watch videos on YouTube uh, for, you know, the the original release. It's not going to drive too much hype. But they are going to focus on Breath of the Wild 2 a little bit, uh, and we're going to get our first big details on that, and then obviously uh, tease us for a bigger Zelda event later. So... Hold on to your butt cheeks uh, because this 35th uh, blowout won't happen there. Some people assumed it might not happen at E3, by the way, because Skyward Sword HD uh, maybe give that some time to run before you hit the 35th anniversary announcements. But they will be showing Breath of the Wild 2, which is the biggest thing about the 35th anniversary in general. Now, this is where uh, things get a bit more exciting. Game Over Jesse, and we talked about this yesterday briefly on the podcast, and I disagreed with him, but according to his sources, according to uh, the evidence he's been able to dig up over the course of the last year, he's very, very adamant we are getting Ocarina of Time, or Ocarina, however it's correctly pronounced, I've seen it pronounced both ways, uh, and Majora's Mask HD. He thinks it's being made by Grezzo, but obviously doesn't know. This is one of those situations where we just got to play careful with the information and think that it's right. He doesn't say that we're necessarily getting it for the 35th anniversary, although he thinks we could. Uh, does think Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD are kind of being saved right now for a time when uh, they might not have a major Zelda game coming out, maybe March of next year. Uh, does know Breath of the Wild, you know, Breath of the Wild 2 
could come in 2021, could come in 2022. Another one of those nothing is set in stone kind of things. Uh, but yeah, this is exciting, obviously, for several reasons that he's so adamant about it and says he has multiple sources on it, including someone that, that potentially works at Nintendo as a writer. Uh, because this means that if Ocarina Time HD and Majora's Mask HD are coming, plus the Wind Waker HD, plus Twilight Princess HD, plus Skyward Sword HD, plus we already have Breath of the Wild, and then Breath of the Wild 2, we'll have every single 3D you know, third-person perspective, not top-down Zelda game, in HD on Switch. And that alone is exciting, even if Nintendo charges us $60 a pop, which would suck. It's also, hey, we at least have all the games on Switch. Now, that would mean we need to start getting some love for all those old-school top-down Zelda games. Uh, and hopefully there's maybe a collection pack for that. Maybe the virtual console service we talked about in the past has those games there. So then we end up having every Zelda game ever released on Switch. That's my ideal world is one system, all Zelda games on it, including HD versions of the games that make sense to be in HD, which is all the 3D Zelda. So this is exciting. This is huge. This is news that I think all of us can get a little bit excited for as Zelda fans. Uh, so again, just to reiterate... Game Over Jesse is saying that Breath of the Wild 2 will be at E3, will have an average to decent length trailer overview, will end by announcing a date for a future Zelda event, like the 35th anniversary event, uh, and that we are going to get Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask HD probably within this 35th anniversary time frame, but at least at some point here. And he has multiple uh, sources and evidence. Again, link to his channel. You could dig through all of his stuff if you want because there's so much to go over. It would probably take me three hours uh, just to explain everything. And we've gone over some of it in prior videos on this channel as well, but all of it is sourced from him. So I really encourage you guys, go check him out. Game Over Jesse will also be coming over to my channel uh, during E3, uh, likely in a podcast reaction uh, after the fact. I think it's going to be him and HMK and maybe one other person, uh, you know, to react to all of Nintendo's stuff after we're all done with our stream. He's also going to be coming on to one of our live streams during E3 to live react to some other press conferences and all that jazz. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I really, really, really hope you're looking forward to our coverage of E3 2021. Yes, this is part of the set. The set is getting bigger. It's getting better. It's getting more professional looking every single day. In fact, there might even be a time in the future that this mic isn't here. And I still sound just as good as I do right now. We are doing everything we can to bring you the best, most professional show on YouTube for E3. Maybe even better than the big boys like IGN and GameSpot. Eat your heart out. $3,500 worth of giveaways. Some of the giveaway stuff back there. I'm not sure if it's even in the shot here. Uh, but we have well, so much stuff we're giving away. New partners are joining up every single day, although we're locking down the final list of everything we're giving away and all of our partners by the end of next week because we got to lock it down at that point. I know there might be other people that contact us in the in the week or two leading up to E3. Sorry, won't be able to squeeze you in. Wish I could, but I got to be realistic here. Um, I need to keep this in a controllable way and get the schedule set in stone. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in. And you know what? If you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, all that jazz. I don't really say that very often, do I? Like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video.